Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we are covering how we can monitor and manage DHCP servers in IP Address Manager. Networks are increasing in size, making them more complex by the day and thus IP conflicts tend to arise. Both these factors are proportional to each other. A large network tends to be complex whereas a smaller network is easy to manage. Network outages are a nightmare for network administrators, and by the standards set by today's digital world, they cannot be taken lightly ever. So, what can you do to prevent this from happening and ensure an always operative network? The answer is pretty obvious and lies in plain sight. You will have to keep your network performance in check and monitor your network infrastructure as well as the devices that are accessing your network. This means you will have to monitor your entire network if put simply. DHCP servers are present in every big network and they fulfill a really important task which is why DHCP server management is significant. When it comes down to large networks, assigning IP addresses to all the devices present in the network becomes quite the task. That's where DHCP configurations comes in handy. However, to ensure that there is no issue with the network, you will have to monitor the dynamic host configuration protocol server as well. This can be done via the SolarWinds IP Address Manager tool. SolarWinds IP AM is a really powerful tool that lets you keep track of all the IP addresses of your network as well as it enables network admins to check which IP is being used by whom and where. IP Address Manager is a really handy tool when it comes to managing vast networks as it keeps a track of IP addresses or an IP address block because every device requires an IP address to connect to the internet. Therefore, monitoring of your IP address infrastructure becomes essential as it helps you resolve IP address conflicts as well as identify unauthorized devices. IP address management tools are increasing in number and thus finding an efficient and effective tool can become tedious. SolarWinds has a pretty good reputation in the field of network and system management, which is one of the reasons why we are using the tool. The IP address manager can be downloaded from the link given in this video's description. To be able to follow this video, you will have to make sure you have IPAM installed in your network. If you have not deployed the tool yet, we have another article which says tracking and monitoring network using IPAM. You can go through it. Furthermore, to be able to add a DHCP server to IPAM, you will have to make sure that you have already added to IPAM as an external load. The link guide will also walk you through it in pretty easy steps. Once you're ready to begin, follow this video to manage the DHCP servers. This brings up the first step that how we can add a DHCP server. Now that you have already added your DHCP server to IPAM as an external load by following the article that we have given in this video's description, you can add it as a DHCP server and start monitoring it. Once you have added the server to IPAM, network operators will be able to manage its scopes. Now let's move on and let's follow the steps how we can add a DHCP server. So make your way to your IPAM page. Let me re-log in this computer. So from here, once you're on dashboard, click on the My Dashboard menu and click on Manage. In fact, click on DHCP and DNS Management. From here, so once we are on this page, click on Add New and say DHCP Server. In here, select the server that you want to add. Uh, I have already stored some credentials. You, you can provide your credentials uh, for, uh, using which you can access the DHCP server. Uh, under that, we have DHCP server scan settings. By default, it is set to four hours. You can set it to whatever your requirement is. So just for the demo, I'm going to put it to one hours and also check a, put a checkbox on automatically add new scopes and subnet. So once these settings are finalized, we are going ahead and click on add a DHCP server and click on yes. So by doing this, the server is now added. So the next part is how we can create a scope on a DHCP server. DHCP scopes are basically a range of IP addresses that the DHCP server can use to fulfill a request when made by a DHCP client. Whenever a request is made by DHCP client, the server goes through the allocated scope to search for an available IP address. It's recommended to have specified scopes 
so that your DHCP server can manage the assignment and distribution of IP addresses. So let's move ahead and see how we can create a scope. So let's go to my dashboard again. And from here, click on DHCP and DNS management. From here, click on add new and then click on DHCP scope. Now this is going to take you to our DHCP scope wizard. On this page, you will have to provide a name for the scope along with other details like a description and extra information. Once you have provided those information, once you have provided the information, you can move ahead. So let me put up some dummy data for the demo. So let's call it our channel name just for the demo. Let's click on next. Now you'll have to provide the range of IP addresses for the scope. You can also exclude an IP address from the range if you wish to by clicking on the add exclusion. After that, on the define scope properties, you can change the DHCP offer delay period. Otherwise, you can just hit the next button. So let me go ahead and provide some values here. I'm not putting any exclusion. You can provide a delay period. If you want to change it, just go ahead and put whatever you want and then click on next. You can also change the scope options from here. And then just click on next. And finally, you can review how the scope looks like and then you can just click to create the scope. So this new scope is created on the server. The next thing that we're going to cover in this video is splitting a scope. Once you have created a scope for a certain DHCP server, you can also split it between two DHCP servers to ensure better availability of DHCP services for your network. This can be done from the DHCP and DNS name system page to split the scope let's follow through the steps once again in the dashboard we have to go to dhcp and dns management now make sure the dhcp tab is selected and then the dhcp on which the scope already exists Now click on the scopes drop down. Actually select the scope and then click on the scopes drop down and you can split the scope from here. So from here you'll be taken to the defined split scope page. You can provide the name of secondary scope that you are about to split to the primary scope with. Then you can select the server for which you are trying to split the range and then click the next button. From here, you can move the slider as per your needs. The scope is separated in person. So if you choose a 70-30% split, the primary scope will use the first 70% of the IP addresses available in the scope and the rest will be appoint appointed to the secondary scope. You can also set the offer delay in MS for the secondary scope. And after that, just click on finish. So I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.